Welcome guys today to the second episode of my NCAA 10, uh, NCAA Basketball 10, ETSU Dynasty. And the next game we're going to play Chattanooga. Um, so yeah, we're going to get this good season started out. Um, um, there's just a, I did, there's a couple of things I changed. Um, I dropped the level down one because I'm not an experienced player. I just rather play, play it on regular and everything like that. And it was it, kind of embarrassing that I was losing the Chattanooga. <laughs> um, and I changed the halves to seven minutes, so hope you guys don't mind. A longer. You guys don't mind. Oh <laughs> We need to get a better center. This game is a big rivalry. Two teams who know exactly what's at stake. Bragging rights, supremacy, and of course, a W. I'll continue to monitor this as the game goes on. That's of course Aaron Andrews, our correspondent on the sideline. So yeah, we've scored 2-2. Two -two. I 2-2. Two -two. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. Oh. We're going to force you to make Isaiah Brown made the bucket. The shooting guard takes the pass. Loose ball save. Loose ball save. Oh, he saved it. The shooting guard gets the ball. And up, but he missed the shot. Number 41 receives the ball. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open. Awesome. We hit the three. Let's get. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He scored, I didn't play defense there. Pushes it up. He pulls up and that doesn't go. I shouldn't have taken that shot. I honestly shouldn't have. Kind of a shorter team. And they're back up. Pushes it up. For the bucket. He gets that one to fall. Oh, he's our leading scorer for the game. Scored. Cross court. Takes the jumper. Takes the jumper. Can't connect. Um. The power forward gets the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Outside jumper. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. And he can't hit the shot. That was goal ten, and he reached through the basket. So yeah, we're pretty much uh, leading right now. Um, we're up on Chattanooga. Um, let's talk about conference realignment, guys. That's been crazy ever since like 2010 and everything like that. All that, the Big East and all the conferences. Um, well, anyway, since ETSU is considering getting football back, or may get football back. Uh, Dr. Brian Nolan is going to announce it here soon, I think. And, uh... Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. He shoots from outside. The missed shot. I seriously... I... 
Why is it on the, the on games the best three point shooters don't shoot threes? They look to get it to the inside. Tries for two. Um no. gave it up. Gave it up. Goes up for and two. it seriously doesn't go in. Um Momentary look from three point land. Missed it. And they got it off the. And first personal foul. Yeah, I said it before him. Um, Brad has been a grinder. The pace is quick. Emotions are high. This is what rivalries are all about. Aaron Andrews always close to the action. For two. For two. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. And Chattanooga is going to take a timeout. And a timeout's called. we got a break in the action. Stay tuned for more NCAA basketball coverage. up the foul. First personal foul. Mm -hmm. Oh, looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Count it. So, ETSU in real life, they're not very good this year. Uh, and it's mostly Murray Bartow, their coach. Um, the, play, the talent's there, like they have like a, one of the best freshmen in the country and everything and they have, good, they have a good recruiting class and players. It's just uh, the, our co coach Murray Bartow, he is so bad, he's like, really, his coaching style is not very well, not very good. I mean, um, they work the perimeter. They need him in the game. He can't pick up any more fouls. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. So, yeah. Steps to the line for an easy one. Rims out. Makes the foul shot. We're at the two minute mark. So inside. Inside. There's the rejection. Makes the block. Makes the block. And they block my dome. Now on the run. Good drive right there. Good penetration. Pushes it up. Goes up for two. That was nice. Number 30 is whistled for the foul. Third team foul. And yeah, 
Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. And he can't make it. Um, ETSU and Chattanooga is a big rivalry. Um, they haven't really played each other much since ETSU was in the uh, SoCon. Let's take a look here at the tempos for both these teams tonight. And, uh, and put pressure on the opponent. Pushes it up. 50%. For the bucket. And that probably just put up our rating by one. So. Look at that spacing. And the block. And the block. And the dribble gives it up. Tries for two. Tries for two. No good from the field. He hammers it home. He hammers it home. And So yeah, we met, missed the three at the half. Um, I just let it go because and we're 45 percent. Um, we have five assists, two turnovers, 12 points in the paint. Um, opponent fast break, run motion offense. I don't know how to do like the. Stuff. Um, uh, let's see. Let's go courtside. Let's go courtside for a comment regarding this rivalry. Aaron? Well, Brad, this game has been a uh, promotion. You can't hit it, the three. The second half is about um, channeling that energy so that the performance um, isn't compromised. The first half is in the book, so watch for execution and team play to really step out. EA, of course, our third member, getting that additional insight and dealings from the sideline. He attempts the jump shot. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. And they steal it. Number 41 grabs it. Goes up for two. And he can't shoot at all. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. The Buccaneers did a great job in defensive transition in the first half. Dick, you identified this as a point of emphasis, and it seems to be making the difference. At halftime, the coaches were applauding their players' efforts in getting back on defense. Look for this defensive effort to continue. So, yeah, we got 20. Thanks, Aaron. Um, we're scoring points here. I like that type of block. He saved the defense. No easy baskets for you. And I, we're going to force you to make shots. He shoots from left to the circle. Whoa, they got the three. Pushes it up. Pushes it up. Okay, he's out. Two. Off the glass and no Dang it, that doesn't go ever. Puts up the jumper. Puts up the jumper. Off the mark. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. Isn't it great, Brad? The shots on target. None of them roll in and everything that like it's been quite a game. We haven't had a lot of success on the boards or points, but our defense has been quite good. We're at the five minute mark. This one could go either way. It's gonna be a charge. Why? Oh that was a charge. Oh my gosh. I tell you as a coach Brad, it's always nice to have the players surprising to step up and perform better than expected. Yeah that makes it. If we do that, then they will go. We'll get fouled. 
Number three receives the pass. Oh, we should be it. Tickles a twine. In the lane. And come up short. The point guard gets the ball. Whoa! I was gonna throw it over. Transition in the lane. The point guard with the ball. Cross court. Goes up for two. Great finish off the transition, Brad. For two. And there's four minutes. Then making a rally here on me. And Isaiah Brown is my leading scorer. I could name a whole bunch ton of players. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Scorches the net. Long down court pass. Working around the arc. He attempts the trifecta. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. And he goes back and slams it down. Been up by four. Takes the feed. Working it around the perimeter. The Mox can't afford to have him pick up too many more fouls. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits a foul instead. He has four fouls. He's able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Rivalry is the theme. Let's go courtside to EA, Aaron Andrews. Well, Miss Andrews, this rivalry remains pretty close. Close in the first half. Aaron is still that way here in the second half. Well, as expected, the action on the court is intense. Both the players and the coaches promised a good one during shoot-around, boys, and we are seeing it tonight. All right, thanks, Aaron. Three minutes left in the game clock. Moving it around the perimeter. Jumper. He misses the jumper. Cross court. Goes up for two. Shot off. On the left side. On the left side. It, and he saves it. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Cross court. For two. For two. Too strong. For the deuce. He comes up and reject it out of there. Poor job on the offensive end. Great job defensively rotating to the basketball. For the bucket. Was that beautiful? Yes, it was. Two minutes left on the game clock. Um, sorry guys about not having much commentary. Here they go in transition. The Mox have one thing going for them, and that's the fact that they're an up-tempo team. They've got to crank it up another notch in order to cut into this lead. And, oh my gosh, now they're down. The level of urgency must raise tenfold. They can score, Brad, but can they do it? Whoa, that is not good. We're like 44% in field goal range. Or field goal. Our field goal percentage is 44%. I've had games where it's like 67. Right? And they're down by two with a minute something left. We better not give this game up here. Number 41 gets the ball. Number 34 is called for the foul. Oh, and just I'm disconnected from Xbox Live as soon as I foul. Um. Number 41 he goes to the charity strike. He can't buy one. Hits his second. Hits his second. The 
center takes the feed. About a minute remaining. Down to the low block. Terrific block shot. Though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Cross court. He goes for three. They need to score here to turn this into a two possession game. And there's 53 seconds left um, in the game. With limited time remaining, it's very important that the players have a clear understanding of what the coach so. wants them to do when they return to the floor. They'll have to be on the same page or else it could cost them the game. Nick, what would you try to focus on during your timeouts? You know, Brad, I think it's very important. It's essential. And he fouled. You know, That's an unnecessary foul. Situation and make sure that every player knows what our options are, both offensively and And they make it. So they're going to try to make it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Um, at all my free throw opportunities have come through um, my center. He's not a very good th uh, free throw shooter, but I've made him like a better one. Um, and they foul. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Baseline inbounds. Foul, and that stops the clock again. And again, they'll inbound on the baseline. Shot clock is dead. And the clock stopped with a foul. And he has had 20 points tonight. He'll go to the line. Just like in practice. So yeah. These guys just have to make good use of it. Um, we're gonna be done here. Sorry guys for not much of a commentary today. Um, there will be more commentary on my other videos. Um, this is just gonna. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight. And that doesn't hit getting the basketball goal, so. We've pretty much won this game. We're up by five. Only way this could. And they're pretty much done. And 53. With the free one. Wide, short, long, doesn't matter, doesn't go. Yep, it doesn't matter. We pretty much won this game. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I would be surprised if the schools change somewhat. This is the big time. And they hit the three at the end of the game. Oh my gosh. But. Richie, another memorable battle. This rivalry has gone a long time, and it's just going to get more intense after one like this. Yep. And we've won this game. So, um. They just didn't have enough ammunition to offset the Rhodes. So, anyway, guys. Um, I'll see you guys later for episode number three against, I forget who's it, who it, who it is against, sorry about my pronunciation of words, um, but we've had, um, we've had a great, uh, hopefully you enjoy this series, and I just ask you to comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out my Twitter, at Alcoldy, with the three, place in the C, um, yeah. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye.